Spotify, AM640. It is the Conway Show. Ladies and gentlemen, the champ is with us, Mike Tyson. Nice hey, to see you, man. Hey, what's up, man, Mr. Conway? Iron Mike Tyson. <laughs> What's happening? Man, you are a, uh, even though I'm a little older than you, you're a big not part of much, not I know, much. only three years, but you're a big part of my childhood, man. Watching those fights, uh, every time you fought, wherever uh, wherever it was, I found myself at a friend's house watching it from uh, you know beginning to end. And and anyone else fighting, I, I could really uh, care about, it, but I uh, could care less. But when you were fighting, man, I made sure to watch every, I, I watched every single round. Every every punch you threw, Thank you very I much. saw as a child. And I and I I enjoyed it. I really did. It was a big part of growing up. Thank you. Yeah. And now, but now it sounds like you're really enjoying life now. You know, you you don't have to train anymore. You don't no have way. to get back in the ring with these idiots. You know, you're really enjoying it, huh? I'm a hundred percent. You're absolutely right. That's right. Did you ever? Did you enjoy enjoy mm. the the hype? Like you live in Vegas now, right? Yes. So when you drive down the strip, you can remember the big nights. Absolutely. You know, and the millions of people that were watching. I mean, that was, uh, you know, what an adrenaline, you know. I mean, you know, like for me, I'm an adrenaline junkie anyway. But driving, you know, down the strip and seeing your picture on every billboard and, and everybody that shows up in the town is looking at you, That's it's it's got to be, you know, the greatest feeling in the world. That was pretty cool back then. Yeah. Um, but uh, you got... Um, now you're training. By the way, when you fought other guys, uh, and you know, and, and the and the list is uh, endless. Did you did you hate them? No, I didn't hate them. You didn't? Because see, I would hate them. I'd have to hate them to get in the ring with them. I don't hate them. I just want to kill them. You want to kill them? I hate them. <laughs> All right. I guess there's a difference, right? A little difference. A little I don't know. Um, but now you now you have uh, interesting business going on. You have the Tyson Ranch. Yes. And in January this year, you bought forty acres. Yeah. And you're going to start the one of the biggest cannabis resorts uh, for growers and enthusiasts in the world. Hey, you're still right. That's great, man. Now, d- did do you smoke at all? Yes, every day. Every day. That's great. That's great news. But back <clears throat> when you're fighting, you couldn't. No, I didn't smoke when I was fighting. Uh, not at all. Maybe after no. the fight, huh? One fight I did, and I got disqualified for it. Really? They yes. drug tested you, and you got DQ. Afterwards, yeah. Wow. I, after Who? I knocked the guy out, they called it a disqualification. Oh, that's horrible. Hey, that's life. Yeah. Well, what can you do? But I imagine after a fight, though, you know, some of the fight, <clears> most <throat> of the fights, you knocked this guy out in the first first round. Yeah, but right? still, I should have smoked the joint after every fight. <laughs> But 44 of your fights ended in a knockout. Yeah. Where you knocked the dude out. But after a fight, I imagine if it went on, you know, eight, nine, ten rounds, uh, you know, you're probably sore, probably, you know, for a couple days afterwards. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But you guys always had a lot of pressure to go out that night to the club and, uh, you know, to, and to really get things rolling. You must have had a massive headache when you went out. No way. I never partied before a fight. No, but afterwards. Well, afterwards, I had a ball. Afterwards is unbelievable, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, they probably put you up in the presidential suite yeah, or whatever big hotel time, it was. Jam. And I, I to girl. Oh man, it was really cool. Yeah, and that's when you were. Now you were single at the time too. Yeah. And so I mean, look, everybody knows. I mean, you had the uh, you know the greatest. Once the fight was over, did you ever think while you were fighting, geez, I can't wait to get through this because I had to go up to the presidential never, suite. Never, never thought that. <laughs> where, where, where the pot and the never chicks were. Never thought that. Never thought it. Never. All right. But now you also have a uh, a big deal going on this week, and that one of the reasons you're here is you have uh, comedy for a cause. Yes, as Standing United, it's a nonprofit charity that gives you the much needed assistance to people struggling with addiction and homelessness. It's going to be uh, tomorrow night at the City National Grove in Anaheim, seven o'clock. Uh, doors open, and you can get uh, tickets if you go to the website StandingUnited.com. Exactly. Yeah. How did you get involved with this? Um, my, my partner, um, Rob Hickman, had told me about it. He was, he's a big um, advocate of the homeless and the, um, the, the veterans, and so um, it was a no-brainer. I wanted to be involved with it, so that's how I got here. That's pretty cool. And so the tickets you can get them right now, StandingUnited.com. It'll be happening tomorrow. I got a quick story for you here. Go for it. My my dad, you know Tim Conway is yes. right. Okay, comedian. Uh, yeah, you, you Don Knotts. Don Knotts, right? He did. Yeah. Uh, you know, he did a lot of movies. Uh, um, uh, you know, Apple Dumpling Gang. Yes. You know, with Don Knotts. I heard you used to watch the Apple Dumpling Gang before a fight. Is that true? No. No, that's not true. 
All right, but um, so you're at Hollywood Park, yeah. and you're with Don King. Yeah. That's a true story. You used to go to Do with the Hollywood Park with Don King. I've been there before. Okay. So you're at Hollywood Park at the Turf Club with Don King, and my dad's sitting at the table next to you. And my dad has known Don King for decades because they grew up mm -hmm. together in Cleveland. You know, they grew up in the same yeah. era in Cleveland. And so my dad leans over to Don King. I guess you were telling a loud story about something. And Don King is sitting with you. And my dad leans over to Don King and says, hey, can you tell that guy to keep it down? And your reaction was to jump over Don King to try to grab my dad to knock him out. No way. And that's a true story. And Don King said, no, 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 no. Hey, he's a friend of mine. It's Tim Conway. And you saved my dad's life. Get Don King here. saved my dad's life. And he tells that story to this day. And he says he's never been more scared in his life. And he, he saw you stand up, and he thought you were going to knock his ass out. Well, tell him I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Can you stay with us? Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, Mike Tyson, the champ, is with us, everybody. He's got a brand-new venture going on. We'll talk a little more about it. He's bought 40 acres uh, out in Mojave Desert, and it's going to be a cannabis resort. Plus, if you want tickets, go to standingunited.com. That's standingunited.com. State of the art. State of the art. Um, Resort. Yeah, it's going to be unbelievable. Yeah, we'll uh, talk cool. more about uh, where, where that's going to be. But right now, you want people to buy tickets for at standingunited.com. It's tomorrow night, 7 p.m., City National Grove at Anaheim. And it's uh, comedy for a cause. And so it's benefiting homelessness and also people with uh, struggling with addiction and also veterans. Mike Tyson is with us, the champ, everybody. We're live on KFI AM 640. It's Timmy time. That's your ass. Timmy. Ah! He's a little man with a lot to learn. He's always having such a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Timmy. Ah! Ah! Little man with a lot to learn. Oh, easy. Easy, easy champ. All right, the uh, Tyson uh, doesn't like the song. He's uh, staring at me. It was a great song. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Let's go. Ding dong with that song. Uh, the champ is with us, uh, Iron Mike Tyson. Who gave you that name, Iron Mike Tyson? Um, the, uh, announcer. Oh, is that right? That's pretty cool. And uh, I was thinking about getting uh, that a tattoo like you on my eye, but I you guess you should have did it. But you, uh, you, uh, but you, you, uh, you own that design, right? Yeah, but still, you can do it. I should do it. What the hell? Maybe you and I should get tats together. Go for it. What, you, what the hell, right? We'll get. Uh, I'll get Tim Conway. You get Don Nons. I'll write it on our face. <laughs> You know, even even after your boxing career, when you're sitting here, you're very intimidating. Like you, you can still so? you could still knock the crap out of most guys, right? I never tried. Yeah, you got. I bet you you're still doing. All right, you got a big. Uh, this this Tyson Ranch is. I, I said it was 40 acres. I misspoke. It's 405 acres. Yes, it is. And your partner here, uh, Rob, is uh, has told me about it. You know, during the break. But this is going to be a huge uh, venture. As a matter of fact, let's get Rob on one of these uh, mics here. You want to get on a mic here, Rob, to talk about this uh, this ranch? His, uh, his uh, partner is here. By the way, how did you hook up with uh, with Mike Tyson? That's a long story. Long we story? we together a lot in the past. And we Are you in the boxing game? No, not at all. Entertain no? A little bit. All right. But you're in the weed game now, right? I mean, we're in the weed business now. Yeah. Together. It's called and, cannabis. Yeah, cannabis. cannabis. I love it. Um, and where when is uh, where is this ranch? Palm Springs area? Yeah, on, on the 10. We split the 10 Desert Hot Springs and Palm Springs. The Desert Hot Springs size is uh, set up with the Tyson University. What's at Tyson University? Are you teaching there? Oh, well, <laughs> he's I'm the dean. Of teaching there. Yeah? <laughs> he's, um, he probably, he's a sampler. What do, you, what do you learn at Tyson University? What is it? There's a curriculum that will be posted up on the Tyson Ranch website, but it's, uh, it's tied to uh, UCLA and, and West Virginia That's University. That's pretty cool. All right, so the Cannabis Ranch, this is going to be 405 acres yeah. outside of Palm Springs. What can we see there? Well, when you get out there, you'll see uh, the longest lazy river in the world. Right. Oh, that's cool. Running around a, a very high, um, high-end, I would say, Ritz-Carlton-style glamping. Nice. Which is When is it open? Camping. Our goal is 18 months to be open. Uh, then there'll be a large amphitheater out there that's going to, uh, with our festival called Kind. That's pretty cool. And it's called the Tyson Ranch. Well, the Tyson Ranch, yeah. That is pretty neat. I yeah. can't I can't wait to get out there. I can't your, wait to see you out there. What's your favorite uh cannabis? You have a favorite? Yeah, Sour Diesel. Sour Diesel? Yeah. Is that uh hit pretty hard? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> see, I don't I'm it not sends a... you to the moon, man. <laughs> 
See, I'm not a big weed guy because I get paranoid when Come I on. when yeah, I smoke you're smoking weed. bad weed. That's why I'm I got to smoke with you. Weed. Would you smoke with me? I would love to. All right, It'd be I, my pleasure. I would like to smoke with you and then record it. Right? That'd be awesome. That'd be great. And we'll just uh, maybe we'll drive around Hollywood picking up chicks. What the hell? Hey, we could drive around Hollywood. I don't know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that really is cool. Um, the your when you look back at your career. Uh, you know, you must be, uh, you know, amazed at how many people not only followed you, but if it was, if we had social media back then, you would have, you know, 60, 70, 100 million people following you. Yeah, it would be crazy. You know, um, but that was back before all that, that stuff. You know, you just had to be, you know, you had to go out there and sell that fight. Did you get along with the ring announcers? Pretty much, yes. With, um, who was the, your favorite guy? Who was the, the, the guy you enjoyed talking with most? You gave all the interviews um, to. Buffer? Buffer was the best. Mike Buffer? Michael Buffer, yes. right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Did you Now, do you watch fighting? Do you watch boxing or UFC? Yes, I do. What's your favorite? Who's your favorite fighter now? Uh, I'm Khabib now. Khabib now? Khabib. Oh, Khabib. Oh, uh, Khabib. Okay. And if you, if, if, you know, if you were, if this was right now and you were in your prime, would you get into UFC? Would you no get in, way. into no that? No way. They don't pay much money. Right. They don't pay enough. What's the biggest uh, check you ever cashed? Forty million. Forty million dollars, yeah. right? And you saw the check. Yes. And and you just what? You walked down the bank and deposited it. Yes. That is unbelievable. What a moment, huh? Pretty cool. I mean, you came from very little money. No money at all. Nothing. Um, you know what? I I really enjoyed at one point in your life. You know, I I'm a big um a big fan of pigeons, and you had pigeons at one point. Yes, in your I life. still have. You still have them. Yes. And are they homing pigeons? No, they're rolling pigeons. Rolling pigeons. Oh, I see. All right. We'll do somersault. <laughs> okay, but you had a ton of them at, at one point. Yes. And was. and and I, I remember a picture of you with all those pigeons. I, I thought that was really cool. You and you still got a bunch of them at your house? Yes, I do. How many you got? Around a hundred in my uh, house, but in New York I have around seven hundred. Right. Do you have other exotic animals or anything? No. Do you do you live alone? No, I don't. I have a wife and two kids. How old are your kids? One is nine and one is seven. Oh, that's beautiful. And a boy, a girl, two boys? A boy and a girl. Oh, I bet the girl is the love of your life, huh? Um, She's pretty awesome, yeah. Yeah, and nobody, nobody thinks about touching her. Well, she's she got to go out with somebody. Yeah, but man, oh, man, can you imagine showing up at the house? You know, she turns 18 and or 17. She's going to the prom, and she opens up that door, and she sees that Mike Tyson's her dad. Yeah, it could be pretty scary. Yeah, he's going to put on those hockey skates, man. He's gone. But that's uh, that really is cool, and you live outside of Las Vegas. Yeah, ten miles. And and is that it? Was that the one place where you enjoyed fighting more than anywhere else? Pretty much so. Yes. Where was the favorite place to fight, Caesars? Um, no. Or the, MGM? The Grand Hotel. The MGM. The Hilton. Oh, the Hilton. Oh yeah, yeah right. The Hilton, Vegas was, Hilton. Yeah, the Hilton was a, a lot of. That was the big there. hotel back then. Yeah. Were you were you a fan of boxing other than you, you know the guys that you fought? Were you like fan of like the you know Dooku Kim or or any of the other boxers? Oh, the older fighters, yeah, Ray Mancini and all those guys. Right. And you enjoy watching that? Yes. Yeah. And, and what do you do now? Are you a football fan? No, it's mostly boxing and um, UFC and tennis. Right. Do people swarm you everywhere you go? I don't know. Maybe you're probably one of the most recognizable people in the world. I don't know. Sometimes you know, and you go overseas. You go over to like Japan or China. They'll go crazy for you, right? Sometimes. Yeah. Do you enjoy that? Yeah. I bet, huh? All right. This cannabis, uh, uh, you know, uh, big, huge cannabis business you're getting into. Yeah, I think it's, it's really a perfect exciting. time too. It's really exciting too. You know, and it sounds like it's uh, exciting. Four hundred and five acres out there in Palm Springs. And it's going to be open in 18 months. I hope you come back when it opens. You know, we can, I hope you come back. I'm, I'll be out there. You know, I'll be out there in the Lazy River. You and I smoking a blunt. Oh, man. <laughs> that's that's good. beautiful. <laughs> you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then tomorrow night is the stand-up comedy night, Comedy for a Cause, and you're assisting people struggling with addiction and homelessness. It's tomorrow, October 18th, at the City National Grove in Anaheim, 7 p.m. Doors open at 6 p.m. There's a silent auction there. And you're going to be there, right? Yes, I will. And and raising tons of money. And you can also, uh, you can buy tickets as well. Uh, you just go to standingunited.com. And you can also follow Mike Tyson on Twitter. It's at Mike Tyson, M-I-K-E-T-Y-S-O-M, on Twitter. Are you friends with any of the guys you fought? Mm. Hollyfield or any of those guys? Yeah, probably Holyfield's the most friendly I'm with. Right? You talk yeah. with him often? Yeah. Yeah? 
You have lunch with him? No. You ever, uh, uh, you ever see him? Yes, a lot. And do you rub it in that you uh, kicked his ass? No, I don't do that. <laughs> but you fought him how many times? How many did you find? Twice. Him? Twice you fought Tyson. I mean, twice you fought Holyfield. Yes. And and that must have been a, a, a difficult fight for you. He's a great fighter. Yeah. And then were you friends short, shortly after that? No. You guys hate each other for a while. Well, I don't know about hate each other, but we didn't want to see each other. Right. Did you, uh, once the fight was <laughs> over, though... You know, you guys are both staying. It was at the Hilton or wherever you guys were fighting. Mm -hmm. And you guys were both staying at the hotel. It was dangerous. You guys could run into each other, and then it was game on again. Yeah, but it didn't happen. Yeah, but it, 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 but it, Las Vegas was the premier place uh, for fighting. And it always, in my opinion, you know, always the, the greatest fights happened in Las Vegas. They knew how to put on a fight. I agree. And, right. And uh, and would you still? Uh, what's the big fight coming up? Are, are fights coming up that uh, in Vegas? I have no idea. What's the big fight coming up, guys? You gamble in Vegas? Wait, Cody, no. What's the big fight? Well, Cody's open. You don't Vegas. gamble at all. No, not at all. You never gambled, huh? Never. That's wild. I mean, I don't know. You got walked through because you're like you're like Aaron Bender. Aaron Bender goes to Vegas just for the food and the shows. Last time I was in Vegas, no gambling. Didn't gamble at all. Guy goes to Vegas, doesn't gamble at all. Good you're like him. Mike Tyson, buddy. You and Tyson have a lot in common. Um, all right, uh, please come back when the ranch hey, opens. For me. I, I really appreciate thank you coming you. in, and I know that it's, um, you know you got a lot going on, and you got a lot of people here with you. But uh, again, watching you fight on any Saturday night, you know, especially in Las Vegas, was uh, one of the one of the one of the coolest memories of my childhood growing up and being able to sit there and watch a Mike Tyson fight, and then to meet you is really special. Thank you very much. It really is. Oh, we got what? We got what? Because I'm the best ever rent. Okay, let's play this. All right, this is the oh, I'm the best ever. God, Here we go. You're a guy the real Here sick. Here we go. You're a guy the most sick, guy. The most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's the never fight. been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their claws. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Are you saying now, Mike? Mike? All right, excellent. Uh, Mike, thank you for coming in. Uh, Rob's got something to say here about the tickets, right? Let's turn his mic back on now. The first that he's 50 talking. tickets? Yeah, the first 50 tickets. You're going to upgrade tickets. him to VIP. You're going to upgrade him to Ooh, VIP. Is that right? All right, they can sit with you then, huh? Yeah. Can they smoke weed with you? Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right. All right, the first 50 tickets at standingunited.com, and you can hang out with Mike Tyson and get uh, high as a kite. Yeah, get blistered. <laughs> How does it take you to get? I mean, it's like it's like, uh, like the really cool stuff. Do you get high right away? Yes, yeah, like the good stuff. Blast bet, huh? up right away. <laughs> That's great. Instant blast. <laughs> Instant blast. I love the fact that you're open about it. You know, there's a lot of boxers that wouldn't talk about it. You know, a lot of NBA players. How many NBA? What percentage of NBA players do you think smoke weed? I have no idea. I, I bet you, you do. Now, what do you think? David Stern's one of our partners. Oh, it is. The old commissioner of the NBA is one of Mike's partners. Oh, okay. The old commissioner. Yeah. And and so what percentage he of said NBA? Eighty seven percent. They did a survey on it. What percentage? Eighty seven percent of professional athletes. Eighty percent seven percent of smoke. professional athletes yeah, smoke weed. Absolutely. Oh, you I guys could, should Google that. I could be pro then. Right? Absolutely. What the hell? It's a healing thing. All right. Thank you for coming in. Hey, it's my pleasure. You are the champ. Mike Tyson. Hey. Hey. The dog. All right, Bender, what's going on?